Hello, golf friends. Continuing our legend series this week with Ben Hogan on Tour Swing Tuesday. Hi, this is Gary Bates from the Gary Bates Golf Academy. I'm a PGA teaching professional and certified V1 video analysis coach. So great to have you along. I thought I would do Ben Hogan here as we approach the Masters tournament and take a look at his action. Obviously, one of the best of all time, 64 tour wins, nine majors. This is a swing from 1948, so one year before the accident. So let's take a look at what we got and look at some of the distinctives that made, made Ben Hogan such an amazing ball striker. Okay, so here in the setup, ball position forward, you can see both of his feet turned out, which is a little bit interesting to me because Hogan tried to restrict his hip turn in the backswing, and usually that right foot flared out would give you more hip turn. The other thing you'll see here, in addition to his weak grip, right, he adopted uh, that grip because he had a lot of trouble early in his career hooking the ball. So both his V's were towards his chin. Now, I probably wouldn't teach that to pretty much anybody uh, because they already slice it. But for Hogan, he wanted to fade it. This was good. Okay, you see this little bit of a rock back move right here, right? Even before the club comes back, that kind of triggered his swing, uh, which is just fine, obviously. Um, and for Hogan, that was the way he got his motion going. So as he went back here, a couple distinctives here. Uh, I would say head very still for Hogan and a later wrist hinge, which was a little more common in that uh, time frame and uh, very excellent. So now he gets his hinge. Now kind of hard to see, but this is 1948. So we'll take this video. Um, as he gets to the top here, you're going to see him get the club quite long, right? Now Hogan had a very long swing and a very fast swing. In fact, so much so that Sam Snead said he couldn't watch it. But tremendous sequence with Hogan, right? So this is now the move that made his swing, in my opinion. And uh, as somebody that's followed his, his swing and his career, uh, you know, I just am amazed at this lower body motion. So the kin kinematic sequence of his lower body starting before his club got to the top, to me, is what Hogan made, made Hogan amazing. So you can see the club at the top right here, and it's still at the top, but now his lower body's going, right? So this is what made him so amazing. And he said... He would just try to rotate his hips as fast as he could on the downswing, which I think is great if you can do it, right? <laughs> now, he had enough lateral motion, as you see here, as he got into the hitting area that he, you know, that was just fine. Now, if you rotate your hips from the top, folks, without any lateral motion, you're going to generally pull the ball because you need to cover the ball with your lower body, which he does right here, right? Excellent. Now he's retained the angle, so Hogan just ripped it. He was so powerful, even though he's about 5'7", a buck 50, uh, he just used his body so so well. Head moving a little head, uh, but no problem right there. You see that right knee kind of driving to the target, um, and you see this, you know, tremendous move into that left side, right? So, you know, we have that movement into the left side that's very similar to other sports, and Hogan did that incredibly well. Um, and just a tremendous ball striker up on the right toe right here. So this is a swing from 48. We'll do it one time from the other angle down the line, uh, maybe after uh, the crash a swing, let's say. Uh, but just tremendous player. You know, a couple things I think you can learn from Hogan. Obviously, he was one of the most amazing practice players of all time. He really kind of wrote the book on how to practice. The other thing I would say is, and this encourage you, I hope, is just persevere. You know, Hogan went, left the tour three times because he was financially broke. And Marvin Leonard and uh, Henry Picard offered to help him out, which he never really used, but just knowing that helped him. So find some people that can encourage you in your game, whatever level you are, right? And you're going to have to persevere, persevere through adversity. He did that not only with this crash, similar to Tiger Woods right now, uh, but in his whole career, had to overcome adversity. Okay, so thanks for being with us. Hey, we enjoy having you along. If you like a video like this, so easy to do with the V1 app. You can just send your swing in and I can analyze it with voiceover just like this. Be sure to click that subscribe button, hit the bell, select all, then you'll be on board. And for more information, check out the Gary Bates Golf Academy Facebook page. We are here to help you in any way with your game. So feel free to reach out. Always love hearing from you. And we'll see you next time on Tour Swing Tuesday. God bless you and bye for now.